Welcome to the Brain Shape Podcast, hosted by Dr. Andrea Wilkinson, a show where we cut through the noise of the ever-growing, ever-changing world of brain health. What works and what doesn't, what's fact and what's fiction. We look at tips, tools, and techniques backed up by real scientific studies to help you keep your brain healthy and hopefully have some fun along the way. Now, here's your host, Dr. Andrea Wilkinson. You're listening to the Brain Shape Podcast, episode number 27. The next two episodes will be a series that covers the topic of the benefits of weightlifting on various components of healthy aging. This is a topic that is immensely interesting to me as I'm currently learning as much as I can about the different approaches that I can take to physical fitness. I have traditionally been a runner, but it's been tough on my joints recently, and I really enjoy the feeling of being strong. So I'm in the midst of incorporating more weightlifting into my exercise routine, and we'll keep you posted on how it goes. The next two episodes on weightlifting and healthy aging are based completely on an excellent article that I read on runrepeat.com called The 78 Science-Backed Benefits of Weightlifting for Seniors. I tried to get the author, Nicholas Rizzo, on the show, but unfortunately, the timing just wasn't right. But the information from this article is so important, so I wanted to share it with you anyways. So I'd like to thank Nicholas Rizzo for doing such an amazing job researching his article. I also want to remind you that if you're just starting out with lifting weights and strength training, it's super important that you consult with a professional to avoid any chance of injury. And if you have any special medical conditions, please talk to your doctor before starting any new exercise routines so that you can discuss precautions and any special considerations you need to take into account. Before we get started, I just want to say that I'm so grateful that you've chosen to spend your valuable time with me. Whether you're listening while in transit, at the gym, or while while taking a walk, I appreciate you being here. And I just want to ensure that all of the information I share is super meaningful to you. So we're creating a new segment called Andrea Answers, and I want to know your brain health questions, whether it has to do with physical fitness, food and nutrition, sleeping, brain challenges, staying active in your community, a past guest, or anything at all. I want to hear from you. So email me your questions at andrea at brainshape.ca. I'm so looking forward to hearing from you. But let's get back to today's episode. Here I am covering part one of our two-part series on the benefits of weightlifting for seniors. According to the Canadian Physical Activity Guidelines, adults age 65 and older should be getting at least 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity aerobic physical activity per week in bouts of 10 minutes or more. But we know that many older adults are not engaging in enough physical activity to reach these prescribed guidelines. In general, but especially for seniors, inactivity and a sedentary lifestyle can be damaging because it increases your risk of heart disease, stroke, obesity, and diabetes, to name a few. Inactive adults experience a 3 to 8% loss of muscle mass per decade, accompanied by a reduction in their resting metabolic rate and an accumulation of fat. But from the research, we know that weightlifting, strength training or resistance training or whatever you want to call it, can be widely beneficial for an older adult population. But many older adults are afraid of weightlifting, often because it's never been a part of their regular routine. But we know that muscle strength is so important to maintain with increasing age. It enables people to keep performing their activities of daily living, for example, lifting heavy bags of groceries or moving a big pot of stew. Maintaining muscle strength in adulthood is especially important because we know that muscle mass and strength are known to decrease with age. 
In fact, from age 50, muscle mass begins to decrease by 1% to 2% annually. And from the age of 60 and on, muscle mass begins to decrease by 3% annually. Today, I want to talk to you about an incredible article I read on runrepeat.com called The 78 Science-Backed Benefits of Weightlifting for Seniors. The author, Nicholas Rizzo, researched and read over 200 studies in order to write this article. So today, I want to share with you some of the key information he uncovered. And if you're interested, and I hope that you are, the article can be found on runrepeat.com. I'll put the link in the show notes. But before we get started, let's talk about safety. As with people of any age, there is a level of risk that comes with weightlifting. So if you've never done it before, I strongly suggest and encourage you to consult with a trained professional before taking on any new exercise routines. But as we will cover today, there has been hundreds of studies where research volunteers are over the age of 60, and weight training can definitely be done safely if it's done properly. Some key tips are always to use safe equipment and to always remember to warm up before you start lifting weights and to cool down afterwards. As would be expected, using the correct form is extremely important. So, as I mentioned, please consult with an expert before you get started with any new resistance training. You also want to start small and only increase the intensity of your workouts as you build up your strength. Let's start by talking about the benefits of weightlifting for age-related muscle loss, also known as sarcopenia. We've already talked about the fact that our muscle mass begins to decrease with age, but it's estimated that around 5 to 13% of adults aged 60 to 70 years old and 11 to 50% of those aged 80 and above suffer from sarcopenia or age-related muscle loss. This issue can lead to an increase in frailty and a significant increase in the risk of falls. We'll talk a little bit more about fall risk in a little bit. Lifting weights can really help to improve muscle mass, muscle quality, and general strength overall. So if you start to include some resistance training into your exercise routine, you will not only be building muscle, your overall endurance will also have a boost. Research shows that weightlifting can improve endurance of the muscles themselves, aerobic conditioning, as well as walking speed. Study participants also demonstrated an increase in the amount of oxygen used during exercise. In fact, research shows that long-term weightlifting is the best way to prevent age-related muscle loss from ever becoming an issue. But what if you haven't been lifting weights long-term? What if you're just getting started? How much lifting do you have to do to see the benefits? Well, one group of researchers found that doing one set of strength training exercises three times a week for 12 weeks was enough to demonstrate an increase in strength and skeletal muscle mass, as well as decrease in body fat in older women. The researchers also showed that by increasing the number of sets from one to three, so now you're doing three sets of exercises three times a week, the results are dramatically boosted in these already incredible results. Weightlifting can also help fight obesity and increase metabolism in seniors. As you age, your hormonal levels begin to change, your muscle mass decreases, as we just talked about, and your metabolism begins to slow down. If you combine these natural changes with less physical activity on a daily basis, which happens to some adults as their mobility changes, the result is an increase of fat mass, which can damage your metabolic health. But did you know that lifting weights not only improves your muscle strength, but it can also help you burn fat? Research shows that strength training can decrease both total and intra-abdominal fat, also known as the fat found between your internal organs, in older adults. 
One of the reasons that resistance training leads to weight loss is because it helps to speed up your metabolism. In fact, research has found that as little as a 10-week program in resistance training can increase your metabolic rate by 7% and decrease fat weight by 1.8 kilograms, or just about 4 pounds. So not only does lifting weights lead to weight loss and muscle gain, it also increases the number of calories your body is burning. Weightlifting can also help reduce the risk of falls and improve functional independence in seniors. I know, you want to stay independent for as long as possible. I completely hear you on that. But it's important to talk about one major risk factor that can compromise your level of independence, and that is a fall. So you want to avoid experiencing a fall as much as possible, and weight training has been associated with improvements in balance, which ultimately helps to reduce your risk of falls. Specifically, resistance training has been shown to help improve your neuromuscular function. And this is just your body's ability to control your movements through knowing where your body and your limbs are in relation to one another and your environment. Another important component of reducing the risk of falls is flexibility. Having flexibility in your joints allows you to function in the most optimal way. And research indeed shows that strength training leads to improvements in flexibility across many important joints in your body, as well as helps to improve flexibility in your hip flexors. Interestingly, weightlifting has also been shown to reduce the fear of falling in older adults, both in individuals who have experienced a fall previously, as well as individuals who have not experienced a fall. But in all cases, weightlifting and resistance training has been associated with reductions in the fear of falling. So we know that weightlifting can help reduce your risk of falls by improving your balance and flexibility, as well as your neuromuscular function. And this ultimately helps support you to live an independent life for as long as possible. Weightlifting has also been shown to help with symptoms associated with osteoarthritis, as well as help to improve bone health. Over 30 million adults in the U.S. and nearly 5 million Canadians struggle with osteoarthritis. This diagnosis is associated with a great deal of stiffness, loss of flexibility in the joints, and pain during movement. Research shows that weightlifting is associated with a reduction in pain and improvement in function for those affected by osteoarthritis. Resistance training also has been shown to improve the health of your bones. In fact, research shows that adults who do not perform resistance training may experience a 1-3% to reduction in bone mineral density every year. Exercise interventions that promote muscle gain also increase bone mineral density. For example, we see a significant increase in bone mineral density following 4 to 24 months of resistance training. In fact, the evidence shows that these types of approaches to exercise can prevent or even reverse about 1% bone loss per year in older women. Of note, The research also shows that terminating the resistance training program leads to a reversal of the bone mineral density gains. So you got to stick with it. So weightlifting, as we've demonstrated, can have such a positive impact on reducing osteoarthritic pain and improving bone health by increasing bone mineral density. Weightlifting has also been demonstrated to impact cardiovascular health in seniors. Aging can cause changes in the heart and blood vessels. These changes may increase your risk of heart disease. Heart disease or cardiovascular disease generally refers to conditions that result in the narrowing or blockage of blood vessels, often due to the buildup of fatty deposits over many years, and this can lead to heart attack or stroke. But there's good news. There are many things you can do to help reduce your risk of heart disease. And one of them is, you guessed it, weightlifting. 
Weightlifting has been shown to improve many factors related to your cardiovascular health, and one of them is blood pressure. Lifting weights can help to lower your blood pressure in the long term, but you shouldn't be lifting weights if your blood pressure is high or uncontrolled. Talk to your doctor to discuss any precautions or special considerations if you currently have high blood pressure or your blood pressure is uncontrolled. Research also shows that weightlifting can lead to decreases in bad cholesterol and increases in good cholesterol among older adults. And these findings strongly support the importance of weightlifting in healthy aging, not just to lose weight and build up the muscles in your arms and legs, but also to strengthen your most important muscle, your heart. And it also helps to contribute to the health of your cardiovascular system overall. To learn more about the 78 science-backed benefits of weightlifting for seniors, you can read the article written by Nicholas Rizzo on runrepeat.com. I'll put the link in the show notes. And don't forget to tune in next week where we'll be sharing part two of this series on the benefits of weightlifting for seniors. If you've missed any of this, you can dive into the show notes for this episode and all past episodes at www.brainshape.ca forward slash podcast. To access the show notes from today's episode specifically, just type episode 27 in the search bar and today's episode will pop right up. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that this episode taught you about the special benefits you can get from weightlifting when it comes to reducing age-related muscle loss, increasing your metabolism, reducing your risk of falls, improving your bone health, and optimizing your cardiovascular health. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast so that you'll be notified every time we publish a new episode. And since we're a weekly show, I'll see you back here next week where we'll be sharing part two of this series and cover the impact of weightlifting on cognition, mental health, mortality rates, how your body processes glucose or sugar, and your sleep. In the meantime, you can follow me on social media at BrainShapeTO and be sure to let me know your burning questions for the Andrea Answers segment that's upcoming. You can email me at andrea at brainshape.ca. Until next time, keep your brain in shape. And as always, it's been such a pleasure hanging out with you.